In this video, we will be taking a look at resolving those black screen issues you're currently having in Windows 10. So there can be many reasons to why you're having a black screen problem when trying to use the operating system. And the first place to start is ensuring that all the cables that you're using are plugged in correctly. If your display cable is slightly loose, then that's gonna cause some black screen issues while you're using Windows 10, or in fact, when you even turn on your computer, you might not even get a display. So unplug all the display cables that you currently have plugged in and then plug them in again and ensure they are secure. Also, if some of those cables are slightly old, then go ahead and replace those cables just in case it is a fault with the cable. Once you've done that, and if that wasn't the issue, the next thing to do is check that the power cable is plugged in also securely into your monitor and also into your computer. Go ahead again and replace those cables if they're looking a bit old. So once you've done all that, and if that wasn't the issue, the next thing to do is turn on your monitor and ensure that it is turned on and also on the correct source. If you also know how to, go ahead and reset the settings on your monitor, just in case there's a setting that's causing the issue. If that wasn't the problem, and you do have a second monitor available, replace the monitor just in case it's a fault with your monitor. So that's pretty much everything that you can do if you're having a black screen issue before even getting into Windows 10. If none of those methods helped, then it's most likely an issue with your graphics card. So depending on how your system is set up, if you're using a dedicated graphics card, then you could try using the onboard motherboard graphics if you do have that option available. If you're currently using the onboard graphics and you can upgrade to a dedicated graphics card, then you could try that as well. But like I said, I'm not sure how your system is currently set up. So if you're actually able to get into Windows 10, the first thing that you need to do is just ensure that the operating system is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, click on update and security, and you now need to click on the check for updates button. Windows will now detect any new updates and install them. Once this has finished, we now need to install the latest optional quality update, which is KB5011831 at the time of doing this video. So this optional quality update actually resolves an issue with black screen when it comes to signing in and signing out of Windows 10. So if you're having that issue, go ahead and download and install that update, and then that should resolve that problem, if that's the one you are having. If that didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you do have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, expanding display adapters, and as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card and I've got a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. I will pop links in the description below to Intel, AMD, and Nvidia, where you can grab the driver for your graphics card, if that's the graphics card you have. So once you've downloaded the driver, go ahead and run the setup file, and then once the driver has finished installing, restart your computer, and with a bit of luck, that would resolve the issue. If you are a little unsure how to update your graphics card driver, I will also pop a link in the description below to a video I've done on how to do it on an Intel graphics card and also Nvidia. Also something else you can do once you have updated your graphics card driver and if that didn't help, go back to device manager, expand your display adapters, right click on your graphics card and then go uninstall device. The next thing you want to do is tick delete the driver software for this device and then press uninstall. When you do this, your screen will then go blank and then Windows will then detect a new driver for your graphics card. So now once Windows has detected a new driver, restart your computer and then see how you get on with that. So as you can see, I have now restarted my computer and Windows 10 has installed the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter for my graphics card. When it comes to black screen issues in Windows, it is normally down to the graphics driver. 
But if that didn't help, then the next thing to do is try signing into a different user profile in case it is an issue with the other user. And if you don't have the black screen issues with the other user profile, then you're going to have to figure out what program you've got installed on the other profile or what you have running that's causing the black screen issue. So once you've done all that, and if none of that helped, then the next thing you're going to want to do is open up the start menu. And this time we want to type in MS config. And you now need to click on system configuration. You now need to go to services and then click on hide all Microsoft services. And you're now going to want to disable all these services. Obviously keep a service that you need like your security or something ticked, but everything else just disable. Just in case there is a service that's booting up, that's then causing you to get the black screen in Windows 10. The next thing you're going to want to do is right click on the taskbar and this time select task manager. And you now need to go across to startup. And you're now going to want to right click on all the programs that are in this list, obviously except from your security or anything else you need, and then go disable. And once you have disabled everything, restart your computer and see if that resolves the issue. As one of the services or programs that were launching with Windows could have been conflicting, causing you to get the black screen issue. So once you've done all that, and if none of that helped resolve the problem, the next thing we're going to want to do is open up the start menu. And this time you need to type in power and you now need to select choose a power plan. You now need to select high performance. Once you have changed the power plan to high performance, use Windows for a bit and then see if that helped. If none of these methods so far have helped, then the next thing you want to do is just ensure your computer is not overheating. So if you feel confident enough, open up your PC case and then just give it a clean, obviously while the computer's off and just be very careful because if it's got a build up of dust and stuff like that, then your computer could be overheating, causing it to black screen. You can also right click on the taskbar and go to task manager and you can then go to performance and scroll down to your graphics card and you can then see the temperature here of your graphics card. Also, if you scroll down on the right, you can see it down the bottom here. So if that temperature is really high, then that's probably what's causing you to get those black screen issues. If it's not your computer or graphics card that's overheating, then the next thing you're going to want to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, go to update and security. And you're now going to want to click on view update history and then uninstall updates. Now, if there's a recent update that you have installed and it's since then you've been having the black screen issues, uninstall that Windows update as that will most likely be the cause of you getting those black screen issues. If it's not due to a recent update that you've installed, then the next thing to do would be to probably reset Windows, which can be easily done by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings and then going to update and security. You then need to select recovery and then click on get started under reset this PC. Just ensure you have backed everything up before doing this. But the good thing about resetting your PC, you can select keep my files and this will remove apps and settings, but it will keep all your personal files. But like I said, just ensure you have backed everything up before you do this. I will pop a link in the description below and also pin a comment to a link to our website on a post which we will keep up to date with more methods that you can try. So before you reset your computer, it might be worth taking a look at the link in the description below, like I just said, to see if there are any more methods that you can try. So I hope this video helped you out and resolved the black screen issues you've been facing in Windows 10. If you liked the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.